The only way for the European Union to balance and counterbalance the US and China is to work internally on its strength. And this is not a military strength, this is another type of power. This is the power of knowing how to manage the transitions. The ecologic transition, the societal transition, the digital transition, and a transition to a more coherent and fairer European Union. Second, the way that we relate with the others. The European Union must continue relating with the others, even if they are competitors, in uh, trust, in a way that brings people together. And third, the only way to balance and counterbalance the US and China is to ensure our role in the international arena with our cooperation, with our relationships with third countries, India, African continent, Latin America, and ensuring that we provide a difference in these relationships, a difference based on trust, based on partnerships, and based on cooperation. Well, Europe must continue working in its cohesiveness, in its unity. The current situation in which, from the inside, the disrupted forces are gaining preeminence needs to, combat, to, to be combated through a situation in which we have policies that harmonize ourselves. We have truly to overcome the digital challenges. We have to bring closer together to face the four industrial revolution. We have to combat and become the leaders of combating climate change. So Europe must continue working in the international arena by shaping the global agendas and by leading in the implementation of these global agendas.